most of my work balances between East and West, actually between science and art, between mathematics and art, about artistic. 20 so years on the left side of the brain, the brain the data at such an early age. art projects. I got a phone call out of the blue. It was from an um, art consultant in the city, wonderful woman, and she said, congratulations, you've been selected to make an artwork for um, the Fry Foundation, the city of Grand Rapids, and I said, well, what's the site? And it was one little corner, it was called the Percent for Art Corner, of sort of a very tough park, or what was left of a park. Uh, there was a skating rink that was in bad need of repair. And I said, um, I don't believe in artwork. One singular object is going to help resolve the sort of the urban situation of what what this park is and is not doing. But if the Fry Foundation is at all interested in having me come in, having the art act as a catalyst to completely rework this park, um, I would be extremely interested. I think the idea of a skating rink is something that um, just sort of piqued my fancy. What I actually wanted to do was take an idea of sculpture and grow it into a park. I didn't realize I was going to have to work as an architect as well because the city then required two or three buildings to be part of the site. Okay, what do you think about that? A bandstand, a, a restroom facility. I'll have put in all the lighting. Yeah, it's not, I wonder if you're going to notice that. That might be a good North Star. Okay. Right? And That's, so then we either go deep, deep blue. Yeah, that looks like fine for the North Star because okay. it's off blue. Okay. I'm really curious what this looks like with ice on it. We're soon going to find out, with ice. I sort of call this one the three stages of water, solid, liquid, and gas. So the liquid is a water fountain that's three feet above you, a circle covered with water, and it flows off the front edge. The mist, or the gas fountain, is the ring of mist that will come up, and you could almost walk into the mist. And, of course, the ice is the ice skating rink. The, the genesis started with water. Grand Rapids actually took the rapids out of the river there for flooding reasons. Um, and I started to play with the idea of bringing it back a little bit. The starting of the rings, the terrace rings, started as if you took a drop of water in the center of the pool and let them come out, and then it spun into an idea of as much about astronomy and about the stars. So it's almost like pulling the stars into a pool of water, sort of a reflection of the midnight sky in the pool. I don't like it. All right, this is it. No, no closer. It's, it's a piece that marks a very that point in time and connects it back to a set occurrence in nature. It's up and running. The skating rink's actually up first and I'll go back in to fine tune the landscaping, the trees. My sculptures deal with naturally occurring phenomena and they are embedded and very closely aligned with geology and landscape and natural earth formations. Get a curious idea that you want to experience something or that you want to answer a question. Well, if I want to look, I'm, right now I'm very curious about what the terrain is like right outside of New York Harbor, underwater. Why? Don't know why. It's like, almost like a, 
uh, get back to that child in all of us and be curious. Think like a child. And it's actually sometimes very hard to think that open-eyed and be very immediately connected to it and not think about, well, that reminds me of this and that reminds me. Just experience something. Generally, when people experience something that is, say, a thousand miles long, though you see a map and plan, you also, your experience of a certain waterway is what you know. And it's really hard to understand an ocean. It's really hard to understand a river. The flood zone of Hurricane Sandy. And so we're going to turn that into a fairly large pin river. I don't know if it's important to anyone else other than me. Yeah, I feel like when I did the Vietnam Memorial, it was a very different type of memorial. It was human, it, was, it became intimate in scale, it was below grade, it, it lists all the names. try to absorb it. So you're almost talking to people from a combination of the psychology of the space as well as the, um, the pure experience of looking and it, with sculpture and architecture, it's walking through a space and being a part and a participant. Oh, the meaning of art to society has been to so many artists different things. I think for me it won't change. Art has always been another language and another voice in another way. One artist, but an artist as part of a certain time period, has looked at the world around them. A lot of times they look, they're a little bit more forward thinking. They're getting to a place where maybe the rest of the public isn't yet, but they can imagine something and then we we, we, we can go to it, I think. I think art is a way for us. It captures the time you're in, but it also pushes us to think about oh, where we might want to be going.